Hello, welcome back. Right, I am feeling like absolute crap today, but we will persevere. We already joined me on the schedule screen, and uh, yeah, I've played more games than I said I would, a bit like last time. Let me just sort this camera out. There we go. Is that a bit better? I think so. Oh my god, look at my hair. What a mess. I told you I wasn't feeling very well. Anyway, uh, so we last were together when I got spanked 5-0 by Napoli. From there, we drew three games in a row. The team obviously didn't react very well to drawing, uh, losing that badly to Napoli. So we drew three in a row, and then since then our form has been unbelievable. 3-0 win, 4-0 win, 1-0 win. We won the first leg of the semi-final 4-0. I was meant to come back for those two games, but we got such a commanding lead in the first leg, I just thought, oh, fuck it, and we'll just carry on. So I carried on, we played Selge. I wish I had live com that, because it was 5-3, and that sort of wrapped up the league for us, um, because obviously they were in second place, so it gave us like a six or seven point gap or something. We then drew the second leg of the second of the cup semi-final, because I played the kids, but still, it's, we're through to the final, as you can see there. We then won 3-1, we drew 1-1, 1-2-0, 1-3-1. Um, if we just look at the squad first then, if we go into goals, as you can see, Tavares has been climbing up the rankings of goals very well, and with his assists, he is having an outstanding season. Salalic is coming with 10, uh, Phil has got 8, he's been on a bit of a score, goal scoring run as well. Stefan Savic, who is the new signing, is already up there with 4. So really, yeah, it's gone. It's gone very, very well. If we look at the league, as we can see there, seven points clear, win today, and we wrap up the league title, which is exactly why you're here. <coughs> Excuse me, exactly why you're here, because I think that is what we're going to do. We're playing Radom Mills, who are sitting fifth, directly mid-table. It won't be an easy game, but, well, okay, so if we go back to the schedule, if we don't win it, we'll live com the next one. My plan is to live com the Radom game, win that, and then come back for the cup final, and it'll all be in this episode, hopefully depending on time. I might split it out into two, not sure yet. Um, not really much else to discuss. Transfers, I don't think we really know what's, nothing else has happened. Um, oh yeah, I sold Rodrigo Defendi. I'm, I'm really trying not to be a selling club, but when I've got a 30-year-old defender, and people offer me 250, or I negotiate them 250k, I'm not going to say no, because he's not worth 250k. So it was an easy deal to do. Uh, on the other news, we've lined up a transfer to come in at the end of the season. A new striker. Um, looks pretty good. Striker! He looks pretty decent. Um, yeah, happy with him. Think he's going to do well. On the out, I keep trying to make a deal to get in Zahovic, but Herovine Her aren't having any of it. They're just not interested in selling him at all. So, anyway, that's enough of the blurb. Let's get into the game, and I'll see you on the game day screen. Okay, welcome back. This is how we line up. So, in our classic 4-1-2-3 sort of formation, I don't, yeah, 4-1-2-3 is how they describe it. Uh, Kuz comes in at right back because Pal Palacic is injured. Uh, Klimcic has been the, well, that's been our centre back partnership since Rodrigo Defendi left. He's doing really well since he signed. Eric Jans is on the left. Vahovec in the holding midfield role, Mattel and Filla are in the middle, Savic on the left, Salalic on the right, and Tavares playing as this false nine. They line up in a very looking similar formation. Why would you not copy the team that are winning the league, eh? Right, and we are underway in the game that will hopefully win us the title. So, here we go. Can we wrap this up nice and early with a nice early goal? Well, Tavares has been fouled on the edge, and we're going to line this up. Oh, he'll miss. Oh, it's closer than he normally does. Closer than he normally does. Okay, I've just been told that Filler, as you can see on the bottom of the screen there, has been picked up a twisted ankle and there's a cross in. And Salalic, that looked like an unbelievable volley. Let's see that in 3D. So Savage runs down this wing, cuts inside and beats his man. Took a bit of a heavy touch, but flings it or dinks it to the back post. And Salalic, oh, cracking volley on his right foot, in off the post. 1-0, and that will lead us to the title. But as I was saying before that goal went in, uh, Filler actually picked up an injury, so I should probably change him. Um, I'll get Valaric on. He's one of the new chaps. He can come in and sit on that right-hand side of the midfield too. Interestingly, um, I was going through all of our tactics and set pieces and stuff and who should take what. Oh, and Salic is in again. Oh, side post. And um, our substitute goalkeeper is our best penalty taker at the club. Obviously, he's now our penalty taker. So when he plays and we get a penalty... Hopefully we'll have a goalkeeper scoring. Janza back post. Salalic is absolutely terrible. That was awful. The fact he's rifled in a volley like he did for the first goal. Oh, God, that header was abysmal. 
Verhovet then, Klemencic, Salalic, out to Koos. Koos, in it goes. Oh, and Mattelj with a little dinky header, it looked like. Wonderful stuff. 2-0 up, away from home. That could well be the league wrapped up, done and dusted. End it there. Means I can rest players for the cup final, who we are playing Olympia, by the way. And there's Mattelj. Looked like it was off his chest. Keeper should do better. Great stuff. Interestingly well, we've got quite a few players up for the Player of the Year award, as you would expect. And we've got a few players up for the Young Player of the Year. But the front runner for Young Player of the Year is a guy we've got out on loan. And it's 2-1. Um, it's a guy we've got out on loan to, um, I think it's Kursko or Ruda Valenje. And he's a striker, so I'm looking to get him involved when he comes back. Because he looks unbelievable. We'll go and look at him after this game, hopefully. Nah, Handanovic should probably come out and get that. We are on the hunt for a new goalkeeper. Um, if you can think of scout nations that I should scout for a new goalkeeper then that would be really helpful Salah with an empty net and it's 3-1 I'm not too sure what's happened there has the keeper come a flapping I think he has Yanza long throw into the box really long throw into the box keeper nowhere near it bounces all the way through and he will never have an easier goal in his life and it's his second of the day and it's 3-1 into half time then 3-1 um, up I'm not going to tell him keep a clear mind I'm going to tell him I'm very happy with the performance this is winning us the league Tavares is struggling to get into the game which is annoying because he's been on good goal scoring form but Zahovic is easy enough and good enough to come in and replace him so we can do that Ziga Kuz is struggling a bit but that's just because he hasn't played for god knows how many months with Palace it's been in such good form Tavares is fouled by Repas and that could well be oh I thought that was his second yellow it's not his first but Valeric wins that header really well Zahovic the Hervec out to Kuz on this right wing. This is what we do. In our league, we should be dominating teams like this. And I'm glad we are because we keep the ball so well. And Yanza and Zovic heads it wide. It was really good football, really good build-up play. Really happy with that. Yanza, long throw. Zahovic, Clements, he's there. The youngster that we signed gets his second goal of the season for us at the back post. I'm pretty sure that's how exactly how he got his first. Yanza's long throw are deadly, absolutely deadly. Zahovic with a lovely leap and another lovely leap at the back post. Keeper's got no chance. 4-1, title in the bag. It's got to be. It's got to be. And as we are 4-1 up and there's only 10 minutes to go, I'm going to give Verhovic a rest. Tim Kavcic is going to come on. He's another youngster we brought in uh, who's done pretty well, actually, since he played. He's got a man of the match award already. I think he's only played two or three games. Klimcic gets it away to Zahovic. Zahovic brings it forward to Savic. Can he beat his man? He can. He's into the area. Cross to the back post. Salic, that's the hat-trick. What a day to get your hat-trick to wrap up the league for your club. It's comprehensive, this. Absolutely comprehensive. 5-1 we are with seven minutes to go. Savic gets another assist. All the way back to Salic is there. Again, such an easy goal for him to secure his hat-trick. So we could even get another goal here because this isn't the final highlight. And if it is the final highlight, it's going to absolutely knacker my throat. But Osmanji's through, Handanovic makes a good save. Valeric then gets it back, Koos on the overlap. Koos swings it in and it's a poor cross. But that should be that and this should be the title. It's a big long one. There we go, 5-1, the final whistle has gone. And I'm pretty sure that will be the league. We can tell them to be delighted with their success. These moments are what we live for. And with all that, it's quite, you know underwhelming really isn't it but I've unlocked the achievement of champions Maribor do the double done the double after they captured the Slovenian first league Maribor certainly look back in great pride because we battered a lot of teams there we go clinch the Slovenian league title I'll do that press conference in a minute yeah we've won it there's what's that two more games to go and we've won the league we're in the champions league again which is good I say again we weren't even in it this year so that'll be good 8.6 million to spend. Oh, this is going to be exciting. This is going to be very exciting. Um, so, yeah, I'll do these two saves against Kurs these games, Kursko and Copper, offline. Um, and then we'll come back for the Slovenian Cup final because I'm pretty sure we're going to have enough time. So, I will catch you guys for the Cup final. And I'm not going to make it fancy at all. I should put a suit on. I'm not putting a suit on because I don't feel very well. But, should I put no, I'm not putting a suit on because I don't feel very well. Okay, excellent. Catch you guys in a bit. Hello, welcome back. As you can see, I gave in to pressure and got suited up for the cup final. Just before we get there, though, the two games in between we won the league. A 0-0 draw with Kersko, 
which was very disappointing. And my sub goalkeeper missed the penalty. After what I was just saying earlier on in the episode, he came up, we won a penalty, he, had, he was starting this game to rest some players, and he missed his penalty. Straight down the middle, very disappointing. But a nil-nil draw. And then we beat Copper 5-1 um, with five different goal scorers, one of which is an own goal, Salihic on the 91st, Zelko 83rd, Tavares 37, and Filat on the second. We battered them. We battered them, really. Uh, as I said, we do have the cup final today, so we'll get onto that in a sec. So a quick look at the league table. You can see we lost one game all season, a 1-0 loss at home to Selja, but we've smashed that league. A few too many draws for my liking, but we'll work on that. As you can see, Maribor, we got Champions League football. Selja and Olympia got European champ uh, Europa League. Sorry, Copper were relegated and Ruda Valenje are currently playing in the relegation playoff. Is Martin Kramelic and he looks like he will be very good potentially one of the best players at the club we get him back next season so he'll help us out in the striking options when Zahovic leaves the club anyway today is cup final day so here we are I'm going to do all these press conferences with you the game is one of the very biggest and is that making you at all anxious far from it's business as usual just another game that's the old football cliche have you been? Have your orange been affected by the eleven gay, eleven gay, eleven day gap between fixtures? How we put extra work on the training pitch, and this is how we line up: Handanovic in goal, the ever-present goalkeeper for this season. Palsic right back, Klemcic, Sermi, Janza at left back. Kavcic is replacing Vahovic in the middle because he picked up a yellow card in the last game, which means he got a suspension. Filler and Balkovic playing the centre midfield. Uh, Mattel is very unlucky to miss out, but. It's just what has to happen in this game because I think Balkovec will offer us more going forward. Bohar starts on the right and Salalic moves over to the left because Savic has been called up for international duty, which is a right kick in the groin. And Tavares, the captain of the club, leads the line as a false nine up front. On the bench, Valen Ahmedi hasn't featured much this year. He's been on the bench a fair amount but hasn't seen that much action. He gets involved. Selsa, the left back, is on the bench. The backup penalty taking goalkeeper Janzakovic is on the bench. Rajatovic is the centre-back on the bench. As we've mentioned, Matelj is on the bench. Valeric is the centre midfielder slash right winger who's on the bench. And Zahovic is the striker on the bench. Here I am in my purple and yellow suit, shaking hands with the Olympia manager. This is a big rivalry. And we're going to watch this intro in 3D as the teams walk out. It's a good stadium. It's a nice day. The teams line up. The handshakes are being done. I look absolutely ridiculous in my suit. There I am. Oh, what a day. Cup final day against our biggest rivals in the league. Oh, there's a lot riding on this. Come on, boys. Kavcic has picked up an early yellow card and Olympia have come through and a couple of shots are blocked and it's a, not a very good start, really. It's, Olympia have had two shots both off target. We head that corner away and, uh, yeah, it's tense. I've even got a purple tie on. I'm trying to get in club colours, club colours even. Bohar, Balkovic, oh he's just headed it over the bar, this game is going to be a nightmare for my throat, sorry if I go all croaky or lose my voice, but it's cut final day, cut final day, 25 minutes in, Belkovic with a free kick, it's blocked, he gets it back, tries to put a cross in but couldn't get beat the first man, Ploy brings it away for Olympia, Kilner tackled well by Janza, Kerm swings it in, Ayup is beaten in the air and Bohar brings it away, can this be a counter attack, if he holds it away there's a man in the middle, Bohar beats his man, he pulls past Villa, Salic is in and he beats the goalkeeper and it is 1-0 to NK Maribor on cup final day, oh, Bohar picks it up, beats his man, I thought he was going to pass then, he left it a bit late but Villa got back on side, Salic with a great run, he brings his form from the league in, bangs it past the goalkeeper, 1-0 Maribor in the final, come on boys. Corner comes in, Bohar, Clemens at the back post and he's headed it just over the bar. Yanza to Tavares, who's had a poor game, he can't get into it so far. Kilnar on the right wing for Olympia. Yeksik, that's an easy ball for Sermi to inter intercept. Filler, filler into Bohar. Bohar, oh, he hasn't seen much action since Savic has arrived, but he's up for this game, I can tell. Salic to the corner, swings it in, Smee, oh, good block at the near post from Vadesk in the Olympia goal. Bohar swings it in. Headed away, Bohar back in. Salic is fouled, and it's a penalty, which means it'll be Tavares. Can this give us a 2 0 lead on the stroke of half time? Come on, Tavares, captain. Yes, he sticks it away. 2 0 to NK Maribor. No nonsense. Beats the goalkeeper with sheer power, and the goalkeeper was sitting down. Just quickly gets up. Tavares, bosh, into the roof of the net. Great penalty. 2 0 up at half time, surely. 
and it is and the commentary has said it's a well deserved lead um, I'm just going to tell them that we calmly I'm just going to say you know keep it going we've been playing really well no subs we are bossing this game at the moment they've only had one shot on target um, and Tavares has picked up another early foul which is good we've had two clear cut chances scored them both Kavsic then back to Smee up the line to Yanza, but it's the end of the half. We've got a corner. Boha, Klemcic, back post Smee. Oh, couldn't bring it down, but it's come to Kavcic. Kavcic, back to Pausic. Pausic runs down this right wing and field of Boha. His cross was blocked, and Ploy can bring it away after that clearance. And my throat is going, so I hope we tackle him when it's cleared out. But it's come to Yangsik, and that's a foul by Salalic, and I need a drink of water. And we <clears throat> head it away. Krolik. Well played from Klimsic. He's looking like he's going to be a fantastic defender for us. Ploy's beaten in the air again by Kalmich. Bohar brings it away. Infield to Filler. Into Balkovec. Balkovec to Filler. Bohar. Bohar out to Yanza on the left wing. Can he beat his man? He puts a cross in. Salic just heads it by the near post. Unlucky. Goal kick goes long. It's a poor goal kick. Easy header for Smee, but he's got it a bit wrong. And Ploy brings it away. Ploy into Izup. Back to Ricardo Alvarez. We are stopping them coming forward, which is good. He up tackled well, and Bohar brings this away. Can we counter Tavares into Salalic? Salalic with a shot, and he's produced a save from Vadesk. And the resulting corner will be taken by Salalic, and it's a poor one, and Badzim clears it away. Salalic, he's... Oh, I think he went went for goal, I think. It was poor, but... Pausic with a short throw. Kavacic back to Pausic. Infield to Bohar. Bohar beats his man. Yanza at the back post. Yanza the left back. I don't... First goal of the season, and he's got it in the cup final. 3-0, surely that's game over. Bohar chests it down, controls it really well, picks out Yanza, and he's rifled this in at the near post, I think. Absolutely rifled it. The keeper's got no chance with that. Olympia have changed to an attacking 4-4-2 diamond. I think it's game over for them, as Balkovic puts a free kick over. I think, because it's probably going to be his last game for the club, we're going to bring Zahovic on. Filler can have a bit of a rest. We'll drop. I don't really want to take the club captain off in the cup final just yet. Zahovic can come on up front. And for now, we'll leave it like that. Okay, so we're into the last five minutes. I'm not going to change anything tactically because we have absolutely bossed them. I feel like Mattel sh should come on for a game. Tavares has got his penalty goal. He can come off and I'm sure he'll be lifting up that trophy afterwards. Pauschitz is a little bit tired. Um, what I'm going to... Yeah, we'll do Pauschitz just to shore up the defence. We'll bring Ratchevich on at centre-back. This should see us in to winning the game. As Yanza picks up a yellow card, four minutes to go, I'm not that fussed. The substitutions have happened, and here come Olympia, and it's a poor pass, and Mattel just... That's a terrible pass from Mattel. It must be a bit cold after just coming on. Here, it's good play from Olympia, this. They've kept it well. It's all very narrow, and Handanovic makes a great save. And there's clubs interested in Handanovic. And because he's 38, I think, maybe 39, he might be out the door. Um, but Sahovic brings it away. Into Bohar. Well, this is a good quick counter-attack. He's tackled well by Korolic. Ricardo Alves just can't do anything but boot it out for a throw. Good pressure there from Maribor. Time ticks down and it'll be this corner and then that'll be it, I think. Unless we get a goal. Mattel, it's a good save. Come on, ref. Blow up. For desk. Full foot. And that is it. And we've won the treble, technically, this year. The Super Cup, the League and the FA Cup. Or whatever it's called, Slovenian Cup. Oh, my word. That is absolutely superb. I'm really happy. I'm gutted that I'm ill for this episode because I'm probably going a little bit more more mental for that. I told the boys they really deserve it. I mean, we've got two goal scorers that are up in the top goal scorer charts and neither of them are at the club anymore. There we go. A wonderful, wonderful League and Cup double. That is a treble, but what can you do? We get 50k for winning it. Five times in eight years for Maribor. They're happy with the Slovenian Club win. It's a proud day for the fans. Yanza got man the match. And the squad bonus is 24k. Oh yes. Wonderful stuff. Excellent stuff. So we end the season as League and Cup double champions. Uh, top goal scorer ended up being Tavares in the end, which is really good. And, and a top assister as well, I think, with 14. Yet yeah, he's had an outstanding season. Um, Zahovic is going to be hard to replace. 16 goals is a lot of goals to replace. But Yanza, Boha and Balkovic up there with the assists. The other top goal scorers, um, Salalic ended up getting 15, which is really good. Having three players over 15 goals or over is amazing. Uh, Filler joined in with nine. Bohar with seven as well. Really, what a season. Thank you very much for watching. It's probably been a slightly longer episode than I wanted, but it's totally worth it because we are League and Cup double champions. I 
will possibly do a review of this season, but I'll probably more than likely see you at season two. Um, and I think we'll be speeding this up a bit. The, free, the videos will be a bit more infrequent. They'll probably focus around Europe because we should dominate the league. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the League and Cup double success. Uh, and I'm going to go back to slowly dying on my sofa. I'll chat to you guys in a bit. Thank you very much again. Cheers.